So where do we go next? What do you do? Well, if you were to sit down with me in my office and really consult at a deep level, I could give you an answer that's probably 20 pages, but let me just get to the point. What's happening is the world is shifting from a world of strangers trying to interrupt people's experiences with ads to endorsements to friends recommending friends. A recent study actually found that in the late 20th century, late 1990s, people trusted brands, they trusted their teachers, and they trusted their spiritual clergy people, the top people they trusted. That was what the research showed. You know what's happened now? A major change. People trust their friends, number one, and people trust a friend of a friend, number two. So everything is based on what we've been sharing in affiliate programs, partnerships, not just with affiliates that are coming out and working with you, but the ultimate partnership is with your customers. You got to remember that. And if this attitude should permeate everything you do, it's not a drive through Burger King window trying to slam sales down their throat. As you see, a lot of people are failing with that. What you want to do is to take this idea of affiliate programs and realize the software you can buy, the products or services you offer already, and if you don't, there's lots of people, so you got them. You don't even have to create them. What the key and the real asset of your business is, is the continuing relationships you build, long-term partnerships between you and the affiliates and you and the customer. So keep focused on making sure that you really love, nurture your affiliates, and then do the same thing with your customers. In fact, my best advice to people nowadays is get them through affiliate programs to become a customer. Use these new tools called social media, which is basically a place to discuss to keep them your customer, to lock them in, to keep them coming back again and again and again. Because what they really want to do deep down is be a friend with you. And my question to you is, do you want really no phoniness? Do you want to be their friend? Because if you don't, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to get in your way who are doing this right now. And a lot of the old businesses don't get it. So what it's done is open up the opportunity for anyone starting out. And if you're not starting out and you're really good, relearn your behavior a little bit. Remember that your asset is not the money you bring into your business, but it's the number of businesses who know, like, and trust you and the number of customers who know, like, and trust you. Those are the two measurements of success in business today and will continue to be. So don't just focus on the bottom line. Focus on people and make it work for you and for them.